Good day, everybody. Today, I wanted to talk to you about a touchy subject, the love of money. I know. Now, we have heard many times before that money is the root of all evil, haven't we? So let's get into it and talk about it. Now, let's understand that money in and of itself is not the problem because money essentially is a tool that is used like any other tool. For example, a knife can be used to help a situation or do great harm. Simple explanation, but you get my drift. So it's the love of money. And for the love of money is what we have to watch out for. See, the Bible does not say specifically that money is the root of all evil, but it says the love of money. This is a key difference. In 1 Timothy 6, 9-11, it says, But those who want to get rich fall into temptation and a snare and many foolish and harmful desires which plunge men into ruin and destruction. For the love of money is a root of all sorts of evil, and some, by longing for it, have wandered away from the faith and pierced themselves with many griefs. The saying that money is the root of all evil is really a misquotation, as you clearly just heard. And a lot of us use it incorrectly. Now, scripture clearly says that the love of money is the root of various evils. And being able to understand the true meaning of this scripture will affect us in more ways than just our monetary value. So if people that happen to be blessed with money far beyond what they need do have a responsibility to share that blessing with those who are not as blessed. As God states in 1 John 3.17, it says, If anyone has material possessions and sees his brother in need, but has no pity on him, how can the love of God be in him? Now, you can't get much clearer than that. So we should see our financial freedom as a blessing from Almighty God, because it is. And that he is going to trust us to be good stewards with that blessing in order to do our Heavenly Father's work. Now the scripture that says the love of money is the root of all evil is basically warning us about the dangers of putting monetary value above other values like giving thanks to Almighty God for his provisions and protection, being trustworthy, your integrity, empathy, and having compassion for other people. However, directing your focus solely on being wealthy can lead you down a morally corrupt path that has dire consequences. In Matthew 19, 23, it says, Then Jesus said to his disciples, Assuredly, I say to you that it is hard for a rich man to enter the kingdom of heaven. And this is why he says it. Because when it comes to money, you can just love it or you can hate it. But money does play a critical role in our everyday human life, and you know that. How it is used is the key to all this. Now, obviously, monetary gain can be used for a purpose that can hurt people, split up families, destroy communities, you know, such as drug sales or usage, for example. However, having a lot of money can also help various charities and people and the homeless and so forth. And giving back is a major blessing that will definitely get our Heavenly Father's attention in a good way, but only if done from a genuine and generous heart. Now, we should all understand that money can be involved in all sorts of sin, as I said before, but money that's coming from greed, pride, sneaky or jealousy, Those are the things that evil is fueled by. And then it becomes the root. Understand? So once again, money is not evil. The love and uncontrollable desire to gain wealth and use it incorrectly is. See, we must use money 
Money can be used for evil things or could be used for good things. But evil is the root of it. That's what makes it bad. So we should desire God and all the things of God rather than setting our goals just being rich. Bottom line, this doesn't mean that we shouldn't have money or become wealthy. It means that we shouldn't be physically, mentally, emotionally attached to money because making money shouldn't be our sole end goal and forgetting God in the process because he allows us to have what we have. So remember guys, only Almighty God who provides our wealth can bring about true happiness and prosperity. God bless you all and have a wonderful and fruitful day.